Well, hello everybody. My name is Kwa. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the topic of why do we dream? Well, have you ever asked, why do I have so many dreams? And why well, sometimes I remember what my dreams well, and sometimes I have no clue of what I dreamt. Well, in the 3rd million BCE, Mesopotamian kings recorded and interpreted their dreams on wax tablets. A thousand years later, ancient Egyptians wrote a dream book listing over a hundred common dreams and their meanings. And in the years since, we haven't paused in our quest to understand so why we dream. So, after a great time of scientific research, we still don't have any definite answers. But we still, we still have some amazing and interesting theories that we can look through to these. Well, first, we dream to fulfill our wishes. In the early 1900s, Sigma first proposed that while all our dreams, including our nightmares, are a collection of images from daily conscious life, they also have the symbolic meanings which relate to the fulfillment of our subconscious wishes. For theorize that everything we remember when we wake up from a dream is a symbolic representation of our con unconscious primitive hawks urges and desires and it could be something really reasonable if we said that we always dream to fulfill our wishes since usually a lot of weird or a lot of unrealistic things happens in our dreams and physiological issues stemming from mis repressions could be addressed and resolved nextly we dream to remember to increase performance on certain mental tasks, sleep is good, but dreaming while sleeping is even better. Probably you've heard about the phrase, remember, sleep to remember, remember to sleep. In 2010, researchers found that subjects were much better at getting through a complex 3D maze if they had napped and dreamt of the mayor bazaar to the second attempt. In fact, they were up to 10 times better in it to those who only top the maze and those who nap and did not dream about the maze. Nextly, we dream to forget and mainly we dream to forget useless things. There are about one, there are about 10 thousand trillion neural connections in the architecture of our brain. They're created by everything you think and everything you do daily. A 1983 neurobiological theory of dreaming called reverse learning holds that while sleeping and mainly during REM sleeping cycles, your brain reviews these neural connections and usually would throw or dump away the necessary one. Without this learning process, which results in your dream, your brain could be overrun by the useless connection. So it is something very important for your neocortex to forget the useless thing. Nextly, we dream to keep our brains working. The constitutional activation theory proposed that your dreams result from your brain's need to constantly create long-term memories in order to function properly. So when you are sleeping, your brain automatically triggers the generation of data from its memory storage. And in other words, your dreams might be a random screen saver your brain turns on, so it doesn't completely shut down. Next, and lastly, we dream to rehearse. Dreams involve dangerous and threatening situations, and those are very common. And the primitive instinct rehearsal theories hold that the content of a dream is significant to its purpose. Whether it's an insight filled night or being chased through the wood by a bear, or even fighting of a ninja in a dark alley, these dreams allow you to practice your fight or flight instincts. 
can keep them sharp and dependable in case you need them in real life. It may sound unrealistic, right? How can something in your dream be useful in real life? It can be. And it happens in every kind of situations. Even dreams about your attractive neighbor could actually give your reproductive instincts some practice too. Well, yes, that is our today's talk. Thank you for listening so much about the theories of dreams. I hope that you have learned some really amazing things for today's talk. Well, thank you so much for listening and goodbye. See you next time.